It's very important that the fathers nowadays step up to the plate and do what's right for our kids. See my little girl right there? It took me some time. I didn't get it right the first time. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. But along the way, I realized that I messed up. And, you know, I tried again and decided that I have to be more mature and um, also be the best father that I can be. I know I'm not perfect, but I fought really hard to make sure I kept my daughter around me because as a father, growing up and Having a daughter is very important because I realize that women nowadays are, are dysfunctional because of not having a, a father, a paternal parent in the house. And I don't mean paternal parent, I mean paternal father, as in the man that you made the kids with and the man that you have to stay with. Um, even if you're planning on leaving, you can't take the kid. You can't take one man's seed and go and raise it to another man. He won't understand the child. It's not his responsibility. Um, and when you know about the ancestors and all these things, you have to like study what exactly, how you're connected to the ancestors. You know, if somebody is there trying to raise you and has no nothing knowledge about your DNA, then when you're doing rational things, they won't be able to figure it out. Um, generally, when you talk to a woman and you speak to her, um, if you talk rough, okay, it's like them take it like it's the biggest disrespect in the world. But in reality, sometimes a man have to talk to a woman rough because she's not in the right position. Now, I'm not talking about putting your hands or anything. That's unacceptable. But, like, you got to be able to put your foot down. And um, when you say something to a woman, she's not supposed to automatically want to rebel. I'm going to rebellion mode. Like when I say something to my daughter, rough, is because I care for her. And I don't want her to get hurt or in trouble or whatever. So when a man says something rough to you, sometimes it can be that he might be a good interest at heart. You see? And you know, women are just so dysfunctional, they don't even know how how like they've been in so many bad situations with boys teenagers adults growing up as a girl because she don't have the father there to protect her she ended up becoming a lesbian because she thinks that every man wants to have sex with her and that's like she can't respect that you see me she need someone there that is her father that sure how a man must treat him daughter see and that's the first love of a girl her father and he's the one that has to teach her that she's a princess and that one day she must she's gonna be a queen and to know how to discern men that respect her and don't respect her because how is she gonna know the difference if you don't teach it to her so you have some beautiful women out there, but they're in some really bad relationships because, you know, like they think that that negative reinforcement of love is okay, whereas it's not supposed to be like that. Like you don't need no jealous man and you don't need a dysfunctional relationship. You need respect and loyalty and love. But most importantly, as men, we have to keep the family together, yo. Like seriously, like it's so important for like for the for the, for the children. It's a balance, yang and yin. 
You understand? Is I can't say oh, I can do it by myself. No, I can't do it by myself because there's there's maternal things that her mother has to teach her. There's paternal things that I have to teach her, and then she'll be whole. Yang and Yin together balance whole. And I think that's just where it is, and that's why we have so much dysfunction in society. And um, and by the way, like I'm still on the ancient monarchy, the Melchizedek order, which is man, woman, and child, and that will never change.